I just want to thank you forever and ever and ever for all you've done for me. I was diagnosed in September of 99. That's when um, I found out. They all belong to you. I was already sick and didn't know it. Um, one day I was at work and I started to get sick, started to swell. And so I immediately went to my doctor and they did some tests. I just want to thank you forever and ever. And ever. I had systemic lupus and that it was affecting my kidneys and eventually they were shut down. I was on dialysis for nine years. They hook you up on a machine. Um, we call it the artificial kidney. You just sit there and uh, have your treatment. Thank you, Jesus. I was really apprehensive about staying on the list. You're just waiting and your mind goes, well, I'm never going to, maybe they're not going to call me. Um, I'm getting too old. It's just really a waiting game and sometimes it gets really hard. You have to keep busy and the thoughts do come up. What if something happens or what, you know, what if I don't get the kidney? What if I get sick? And you're constantly thinking, you know, what's going to happen? And I think what kept me going was my kids. That was good, that was great. Thank you for the and bringing us together as a family and that's the school for our lives to get married and pray. When I was sick, they saw me at my worst of times, you know. They helped me when I was throwing up, or helped me, got me up when I had my cramps, walked me around. You know, they wait on me, hand and foot, you know, and I know they get tired of it. I say, I know y'all tired, but I just can't do it, you know. They've always been there, and they've been really amazing. When I got the call at work, it was just like, what, are you serious? And so I immediately left from there and they walked me to the car and it was just full of excitement. And after the excitement, sometimes you feel sad because sometimes you think about the donor's family. And that's what really bothered me. I was really sad and I grieved with the family. You start to think, wow, am I really worthy of this gift, this gift of life, you know, from this person, you know, it was a happy time too, but a sad time because my donor, Micah, he was 18. He's the same, um, he was the same age as my oldest son. And when I think about it, it just hurts my heart because I feel like, you know, he should have been here. He should have been here. But you know, everything happens for a reason. God has a plan. So I say, Lord, maybe this is his plan, his way of me getting active. And that's what I did. I told myself that I was going to be active. I wasn't going to let this, his donation to me be in vain. I wasn't just going to take it and sit on it or, you know, disrespect it or, you know, you know, just do things that mess up my body. I was going to take this and just do what I could, and that's what I've been trying to do, volunteering, going out talking, and just trying to keep busy, stay positive, and everything I do, I do it for Micah too. You know, it's just, it's really something, it's really something.